This is Broforce Beta. Although clearly there are some uh, alpha features. Uh, this is a game I saw at EGX Res. It, it's basically, you know, an 8-bit style game with a, uh, a lot of explosions and, and blowing stuff up. Uh, all the characters are um, similar to heroes of movies you may have seen in the 80s. So I'm using the keyboard to control it, which apparently is not ideal. Um, I think it's mostly because I'm running the game through Wine, because the demo is only available uh, for Windows at the minute. However, the final game will be available for Linux. Right, let's look at that. I have Blade. Yeah. And there's a man there already on a spike, which is handy. Yeah. So, the checkpoints, you get these little American flags. When you rescue... When you yeah. rescue these men, uh, you recover, recover the characters, it's basically like getting an extra life. So now I am somebody who, of course, is obviously not B.A. Baracus in any way, shape or form. I'm going to repair it, I'm going to shoot through that, I'm going to rescue this guy, and I'm now some sort of MacGyver dude. You can throw giant turkeys, which totally destroy things, which is quite amusing. And then, of course, I can fall off. Uh, what can I do here? No, it's clearly quite possible to um, to uh, leave yourself in a situation where you can't actually complete the level because you've blown up too much stuff. Let's just try putting a turkey here. Oh no, let's try putting a turkey here. Okay. I don't know, and I'm dead. Well, that'll probably help. At least now I've got a gun I can shoot. And kill the bad guy. And now I need to um, get to the flag so I can be rescued. There we go. Ah! Apart from, I'm an idiot. So yeah, you get into the helicopter. I'm not sure how long it'll last. There we go. No escapes. Hey. So clearly that wasn't the optimum way to do that level. I did blow a lot of stuff up though. <coughs> and the game pretty much continues like this. Now that bridge is going to destroy itself fairly quickly. And you die <laughs> in a big pile of steaming guts. Oh dear. Hey, I'm somebody who's definitely not Rambo. Alright, and you sort of repel yourself up these um Up the walls by um, uh, what am I now? Walker, Texas Ranger. Ah, and I'm dead. Hey, just nothing like bl blowing stuff up with swords. Hello, who am I now? I am certainly not B.A. Baracus. Am 
I now? Oh, I'm the dynamite guy again. Okay. Let's put a turkey there. Let's ignite the turkey. Hey, lots of people are dead. And you're dead too. And that's another one complete. There you go, explosive, explosive stuff. So it's basically this game is a load of fun. The graphics are, you know, they're clearly stylized. Uh, right, that man there's got um got dynamite strapped to him. Oh, someone else can rescue. Who are you? Hey, it's certainly not John McLean. Couldn't possibly be. Oh, hang on. Oh well. Oh dear. Ah. How oh, can I get up there? As you can see, I'm not an expert by any means. And the keyboard controls are a little awkward. Go on. Yeah, I'm up. Hey. You can all die. Yes. Yeah, well. Another man. Oh, now definitely not lady. Um, I'll bring myself up. Got on the plus side. I'll blow all of them up too. Oh no. Oh, that did sort of work. That's good to know. I'm not escape again. So yes, it's basically all the corny 80s action movies that uh, you, you possibly loved as a child. If you, you know, that old. It is a lot of fun. It's definitely possible to be a lot more classy than I've been so far. Um, and, and, you know, finish, finish the areas in sort of 20 or 30 seconds or less. I'm going to leave it there for now. Um, definitely a game worth uh, looking out for when it's actually released, available on Linux, um, co-op modes, uh, online multiplayer, it should be a lot of fun.